All right, folks, it's the WC here with another video. Let's go for a whole two lights on this video, man. I don't want it to just be me and Drew liking this video either. Y'all read the title. Y'all already know what this is. Apparently, Drew McIntyre is leaving the WWE, right? No, maybe, yes. Is he, is he actually quitting? No, yes, maybe, probably, yes, no, probably, no. I don't know if it's just you or me. Like, the WWE has blurred the line so much to the point where it's actually good storytelling because I don't know if Drew is actually leaving the WWE or not. Now, there's been tons of rumors about, like, his signing on with the WWE. Is he going to re-sign with the WWE? Reports are that he's staying with the WWE because if he was leaving, I would have already known. So maybe this is a chance to give Drew a little bit more time off until CM Punk comes back. I think logically, Punk is probably not going to be ready for a few more months, like like for real. I think that this is the perfect way to write Drew McIntyre off of television, give him some time off as CM Punk um, recovers, and then they could tell the Punk versus uh, McIntyre story down the line. I don't think that this is a shoot. I think it's a work. That's what I think it is. And the reason why I think it's a work is because it's a natural storyline that they've got going on here. It's long-term storyline telling. There may be real animosity between him and Punk. And I think that they're good at playing off of that at this point. I think it's a big mistake if it's a shoot. And he's leaving the company, deactivating social medias. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I don't miss nothing. Like, I saw it first because I went to his social medias. And then they reported it on air that he had deactivated it. So, if they reported it on air, like, definitely it's got to be a part of a storyline. I mean, but think about it like this. It had, like, Montreal Screwjob type of vibes to it. It really did. They showed footage of CM Punk. Um, at Clash at the Castle getting a referee shirt from Jessica Carr and it just it was the most it didn't make any sense it is, <laughs> I had to, I got the hiccups thinking about it it didn't make any sense how she would just give a referee shirt to the guy and not ask why he, he basically he put his hands on a referee he put his hands on Corey Graves who I mean I got I'm 50-50 on Graves. Like, I like Graves, but it's like I have every reason not to. But I think that this is a storyline. This is not a shoot. Like, Drew McIntyre is not going nowhere. This is a chance for them to bring in, um, what is it called? They brought in uh, Uncle Howdy at the end of the show. I might do a video on that. Then again, it's like, it's self-explanatory. They've been talking about it for weeks. This is a chance for them to bring in Seth Rollins. For whatever reason, like, it just kind of seems like at, at certain parts of the year, the WWE takes, like, talent off the show and then brings in someone else. So they took, they, they brought in Seth Rollins at the beginning of the show just to take Drew McIntyre away at the end. It's almost like they're telling you that the show's not big enough for the both of them, so somebody's got to take some time off. And then Seth coming back so soon, I mean, they could have waited a few more months for for Seth Rollins, but I guess they needed an opponent for um they needed an opponent for um Damian Priest in the meantime before they get to Gunther, who is like mysteriously missing from Monday Night Raw right now. He's just not there. And that's after a PLE, right? So I, d I didn't understand that. He's just not there at all. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is a shoot? Do you guys think it's a storyline? I think it's a work. I think it is just a worked time off thing until CM Punk comes back. I mean, he's going to go on there on Friday Night SmackDown. I think that, I think that you know what I think is going to happen? I think Drew McIntyre is going to jump CM Punk in his hometown on SmackDown. I think that that's what's going to happen. And the only way that, like, that McIntyre can get to Punk is if he technically quits or, so, <laughs> or something like that. I, I don't know. I would be watching Friday Night SmackDown, like, after this promo or after this whole thing went down to see what happens. Then I might do a reaction follow-up 
And sometimes it's hard to do follow-ups on these storylines because it's a week-to-week show. So I'd be doing videos every week, and sometimes it's hard to do that. But I fully expect for Drew McIntyre to show up in Chicago and try to beat the hell out of CM Punk. I don't. It just it's just something. There's something about it that that raises eyebrows. They advertised it during the show. Um, I don't know if Punk is medically cleared. He's doing physical things, so why wouldn't he be physically cleared? But anyway, the title of the video is Work or Shoot. Do you guys think that Drew McIntyre shot or did was this a work? I think that I think that all signs point towards it being a work. <laughs> this guy's walking away from way too much money. Where the hell is Drew gonna go? New Japan? Where is he where is he gonna go? I mean, <laughs> is he really going to go to AEW? It's not working out well for Edge. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to look. I, I, I swear, man. I mean, it's Christian's show over there, man. It really is. I mean, I didn't want to throw Edge under the bus, man. But I did do a whole video on Edge because I thought he was going to retire. I thought he was done. And he shows up at AEW. And I'm like, oh, my God, no. But let me know how you guys feel about Drew McIntyre in this segment. I think it was done well. I think that they cut the commercial really, really quick. Um, I, I really like the way that they shot it. Um, if it turns out to be a shoot, I will come back on here and, and eat crow. I really will. <laughs> I'll eat crow if it was it was if it was a complete shoot. I, I will, but it's it, it looks like a work. It looks like a work from from here to from from sea to shining sea. It's a work, okay. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. He's going to show back up, and he's going to beat the hell out of Punk. And at that point, we'll know that Punk is physically um, able to be touched. At that point, like it's it's got to come down to that at some point, and we'll probably find that out on SmackDown. The whole brand split thing is stupid. Anyway, I'm going to be real with you. It's, it's not working out the way that it should. But let me know how you guys feel about this down in the comments. Is a WC? I'm gone, bro.